What's up, everybody? It's your boy Dwayne Retro Gamer as I, and nope, I have not done a video in a long time, but this game is so worthy of a video, it's worthy of its own fucking movie, if you ask me. And by far, that's exactly what we got. You know, I'm not sure if you guys have played Arkham Asylum, Arkham, you know, uh, City, and Arkham The Origins, but all phenomenal games. All, uh, all three of those games were absolutely phenomenal. Rocksteady has been doing their thing with this series, and you know it's it's an, just an awesome game, man. So I just kind of wanted to give you my impressions, my first uh, views on it, and all of those type of things with um, Arkham, the Arkham Knight. Number one, we're gonna start off with the graphics. I mean, wow. It's just, it's from beginning to end, it's just a fluent, just steady frame rate. It's beautiful. The graphics on it is really nice. Everything takes place at night, so it's more of a dense feeling. Um, everything just feels so good when you're playing the game. It's smooth. Everything is just cool. Like when I was playing all the old ones on the 360, and then I'm coming over to the Xbox One playing this one, and I mean, it's just it picks up where it left off and it picks up just in a whole better light it's just so the game is so amazing it looks amazing it's very beautiful it's a very 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 beautiful game it reminds me maybe not remind me of it but puts it in the same category of um rise what is it yeah the rise the son of rome and the reason why I say that is because Rise of Son of Rome, when I first bought the Xbox One, was absolutely fucking beautiful to me. That was like one of the most beautiful games that I had ever played in my life. And it's still definitely a top contender to this day. But um, the story, the storyline of this game, I have not beat the whole game yet. I'm actually almost done with the game, I believe. <laughs> but the storyline to this game is amazing. It keeps you drawn in from beginning to end um it lets you know right off back scarecrow is not fucking around <laughs> he is going in and he does not care he's going he's going to do what he has to do to destroy batman and like i said from beginning to end from the from from when it first kicks off and from where to where i am right now it just keeps the complete awesome storyline to this game there is no drop offs there's no slow parts there's no none of that um you know i, I don't know like um the, you know it, it is a little repetitious it's 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 definitely like um kind of like um all of the other ones you know the gameplay of it the the fighting styles has added more things into the fighting style this time but the fighting style is still the same so if you've played all of the other ones then you know exactly what to do with this one um now we're gonna talk about my favorite thing the batmobile the batmobile <laughs> Yo, the Batmobile on this game is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, I cannot stress it in any other way, but the Batmobile feels so good. I, I thought when they started talking about the Batmobile, I thought that they were going to say like, um, or, it, you know, they, they, they started talking about the Batmobile and the Batmobile was implemented into the game. And I'm just like, okay, well, maybe they just, you know, maybe this is just going to be like a little thing that you can do when you're riding around. Or if you want to uh, get to the other side of the map quicker or whatever. And it has nothing to do with that. Like the Batmobile is definitely a part of this game. Definitely. And just the way that it feels it feels so good like it, <laughs> the way that the, the batmobile feels it feels amazing i i definitely love the way it feels it's probably the one of the best drivers that i've ever played in a game and i'm talking about this is like forza this is like gran turismo i it does that even still come out <laughs> need for speed you know these you know stuff like that where it's supposed to be um supposed to be uh seniority in the driving era they need to go over to rock study knock on the door and say hey um y'all think that we could you know 
talk about the way these mechanics work because it's amazing like the, the batmobile just feels really good when they first announced it i thought that it was gonna feel like the uh truck on halo like that was the worst driving truck that i had ever like ever 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 um played in my life i i don't know what the hell was going on with that and that was one of the things that kind of like drew me away um from from halo i like halo but it wasn't anyway this is a whole nother story anyway <laughs> but we talk about the mechanics of how he fights and everything and a lot of people i heard some people saying that well it's the same thing it's the same thing well why fix what's not broken you know I mean, just because it's a whole new game doesn't mean that it's not the same series. You got to think about it. All of this stuff is going down within the same similar time frame. So why would Batman's whole thing just change from one game to another? So I just feel like, you know, that's the Internet and people love to complain and, and find something to complain about. So, you know, that's one of the things. And um, you definitely feel like this is it. Like, if Batman doesn't do anything, he's going to fucking die. Like, this game, like I said, from beginning to end, is off the chain. And they let you know that we are coming for Batman. And Batman, if you love him enough, you're going to save him. But if you don't, um, he's going to fucking die. And... <laughs> And and that's just what it is, you know. It, you know, it's an awesome game, and Batman is, you know, he's fighting for his life. He's fighting for the life of, of Gotham City. He's fighting for, he's fighting for, just to 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 get it back up. You know what I'm saying? Get everything back in order, and that to me is the way to end it. And we know that this is the last one, which is sad because man this game is good and hopefully they sneak something in but i can also i can also understand at this point why the um season pass is going to be six months long and it's 39 dollars because i'm not sure what else they're going to do i'm not sure but what i do know is that it is really good and i can understand that they're going to keep the story going so i will invest into that me personally and i can understand for people that don't invest into it because 39 dollars is a whole nother game and with black ops 3 coming i mean i'm, I'm putting myself in a little pickle here <laughs> so but anyway guys i'm Dwayne retro gamer as i i'm sorry i missed you guys you know i i, I mean i'm sorry but i have missed you guys I just didn't feel like, you know, my 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 videos were getting enough hits. So I said, forget it. And then somebody came to me today and was like, hey, what's going on with your YouTube videos, man? I haven't seen you in a while. And that made me feel good. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I got another video coming for you. Peace. I'm in. Hey, you hear me? It's Jim. I need you to send through some blueprints. I found Crane. And that bastard's going to die for what he did to my little girl.